The state legislature has entered the sixth week of action, and some high-profile bills have made their way to the opposite chamber. 12 News' Richard Lake joins us now live from the state capitol and has more on what could be debated soon. Richard? Well, we could see some of the largest topics coming into this legislative session actually move around uh, over these next few weeks. Starting in Jackson, House Bill 1020 has been sitting in the Senate since February 9th and has not yet been assigned to a committee. 1020 would create a separate judicial entity within the Capitol Complex Improvement District with unelected state Supreme Court appointed judges serving over it. Senate Bill 2638 would revive the ballot initiative process in the state. It has yet to be assigned to a committee in the House and it is expected to be drastically amended if brought up. The Senate passed an extension of postpartum care up to 12 months for the second straight year. The bill died in the House last year when House Speaker Philip Gunn refused to bring the bill to the floor. It has yet to be assigned to a committee this year. Legislation to help struggling rural hospitals passed in the Senate, with both of those bills being assigned to House committees for deliberation. Now, lawmakers have until March 8th to address these bills. Richard, we understand that a bill impacting the Public Employees Retirement Board died last week. Tell us briefly about what happened there. Right, Byron. Well, that PERS bill died when the executive director of the board sent a letter to Speaker Gunn saying that the board would vote to postpone that rate increase that actually, you know, spurred that original piece of legislation. All right, Richard Lake reporting for us live from the state capitol. Thank you, Richard.